Good morning wakili. You are a Kim's qualified procurement officer? Yes, I you am. You have your current practice certificate? I can confirm. Do you have? I'm asking whether you have, not whether you can. Do you have it with you? I can confirm I don't. You don't have it. There. Good. Mm -hmm. um, I want to take you through the document that you referred to first, the list of the tenders that were chaired by Wayne, Yeshira, and Pauline. Do you have the document with you? Let me get it. Please do. My default time. As you fetch that document, yes. how many tenders took place in the year 2017-2018 the, in the entire county departments? Um, council, uh, I can not put an exact figure because this How is many have you cited in your document for that year? These are um, uh, 12 committees. Conveniently on, cited, okay. Yes. And let me make it clear that this is okay. I'm, I'm okay with the answer. You said that the head of department nominates the members of the evaluation committee, yes? Yes. Do you have a letter indicating the members of that particular evaluation committee being nominated by the user department? For this particular tender, it was. Do you have or you don't have? I don't have, but you don't have. have. I take that. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to take you through velocity where the crux of the matter have and I'm now dealing with velocity tender number 046 kindly have your file with you my default time I want you to open the contract that you gave Yes. The contract first first pages. Yes. You have the contract, the first page of the contract? Yes, I do. The first page of the contract, not the last page. Fungo yo ingine. Aha. I'm reading it out for you. Senators, you're with me? You're with me, senators? Yeah, Annex 12P. Annex 12P. Yes. Contract agreement between County Government of Kirinyaga and Velocity Partners. Yes. File 046. I want to read that out to you, Kariras. Contract agreement between County Government of Kirinyaga and Velocity. What's the spelling of that Velocity? Velocity with CTY at the end. CTY at the end. Right. Open the next page, Kariras. Right. Read out the recital. This agreement. Read it out. <clears throat> this agreement made on the 14th day of May 2018 between the county government of Kirinyaga, P.O. Box 260-10304 Kutuz, located at the county headquarters, Kutuz, here in after, call the employer. Yes. On, on, mm -hmm. And? And on the other hand, velocity. Velocity. What is the spelling of that Velocity. Velocity with C I T Y at the end. That was just a clerical error, correct? Let's like proceed to the execution. Execution of the agreement. Who has executed that agreement? County Government of Kinyaga and Velocity. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which officer from the county government has executed it? The accounting officer. Which accounting officer? Which department? Chief Officer Finance, Economic Planning and ICT. For purposes of clarification, Mr. Carillas. Each department has its own accounting officer, correct? To the best of my knowledge, Chair, that is not correct. We have only one. I want to read out for you, and I want you to read section one, se section 46, subsection 2 of the Procurement Act, which you are an expert. Fish it out, section 46, subsection 2. Yes? I'm there. Kindly read it out for the senators. Chair, yeah, uh, it reads as follows. In establishing uh, the ad hoc evaluation committee, 
referred to in subsection 1, the procuring entity, that is the state department or a county department, shall do so in consultation with the cabinet secretary or the county executive committee member responsible for that entity, as the case may be. Did you consult the, the CEC health during these processes? I can confirm, yes. Are you aware that she was there where you were seated yesterday and she confirmed in evidence and in, or on oath that she was never involved? Let's move on. Which velocity has executed this agreement? The velocity with this CITY, CITY or the other one? To the best of my knowledge, with CTY. Good. Move with me to... Move with me to the document establishing or communicating to you about the evaluation committee. Kindly, on the same file. Can tell which one. Yes. Which one to be specific? Which file? Are you talking about the Ad hoc Tender Evaluation Committee? Yes, the Ad hoc summary? Tender Committee. I think it's on uh, page 55, the submission by Founder Buano Yes, page 55. Do you have it, Carilas, with you? Yes, I have it. Yes? Yes, Council. Who are the members of the tender committees in that particular tender? Through the chair, Council, let me confirm to you these are chair. Persons. Who are the chair? Who, are, who is the chair of that tender committee? Are you looking at the same document that I'm looking at? Please clarify because I'm on the table of summary of appointments of various. Okay, I'll come that to that later. Then move with me on the same file. Please don't leave that file at annexure 12G. Please keep on holding that file. It's very important. Annexure 12G. Through chair, which file can tell? 046. 046. Okay. Are you there? Yes, I'm, I'm looking at the document of the tender opening committee. Do you have it with you, the minutes? 12G. The minutes. 12G, Carillas. You are very expedient when you are dealing in chief. I'm there, Council. Chairman, if the if council could stop badgering the witness look at that tender opening committee yes the next page entry number four no you've gone bali sana Krillas, let me share with you mine mr mr Ndego, this committee is guided by our standing orders which yes. say that we shall only use either english or swahili and or Kenyan sign language. So you'll choose to use one. I'm well guided. I'll use English. So don't, don't, don't mix. Huh? I'll use English. Yeah. Karilas, are you at 12G? 12G is a copy of the tender opening committee minutes. Are you there, sir? I'm there, Council. Would you kindly open with me the next page? You seem not be having it. I'll share with you. Kindly confirm that those are our authentic opening tender committee meeting. Don't go further. I can confirm. Yeah. Kindly look at entry number four. Yes, I'm there, Council. Who is the person appearing on the opening date? Uh, it is indicated velocity with an I. Velocity with an I. Good. So at the time of opening the tender, Velocity with an eye participated, correct? Yes, Karilas? Chair, that is correct. Yes? Uh, is that correct or not correct? As per the indication. No, no, I'm asking you about the document I've shown you. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Is that entry correct or not correct? The entry correct, Velocity with an eye. move on. I now let, want to move you with you very fast to annexure number 12. I, 12I. 
It's a report of the technical evaluation report. Are you there? Yes, I'm there. Senator, are you with me? Let's move on, Carillas. Next page. Kindly confirm that that is an authentic report. 12i is appointment of members of ADO. On my file, 12i on 046. Is it 12h or 12i? There could be different, but what I'm referring to, Honorable Senators, is technical evaluation report. Yeah. On 046 tender. That's the document I think I'm looking at. No. Carillas, I'm looking at this document. I'm there, Council. You are there with me? Let's move on. Kindly confirm that that's an authentic document indicating the evaluation of the companies that participated, correct? It is correct. Move with me to the next page again. Yes? I'm there. You go to the page written technical evaluation. Technical evaluation. Are you there? E, um... Technical evaluation, this one. Oh, okay. Technical evaluation, yeah? Yes. You're there? Kindly confirm to us the representation by B1, B2, B4, B5, B7. What do those represent? Those represent the bidder numbers. The bidder numbers. Kindly confirm to us that velocity or velocity is bidder number four, B4. Confirm it's bidder number four. That is correct. Move with me to that technical evaluation report. Are you there, sir? Yes. You don't seem to be. I'm there. I'm there. You're not on this page, sir. Good. Now read out to us the comments or the remarks which says which begins with the bidders who met. Carillas, technical evaluation. Yeah. Bidders who met the mandatory requirements were subjected to a technical evaluation as set out in the tender document and scores awarded based on the bidder's qualification. Yes. Only bidders meeting a pass mark of 70% in this stage shall qualify for financial evaluation. So velocity is in the technical evaluation because they met the previous requirements, correct? Yes, correct. Move with me to the place where, to the quorum written specific experience of the firms consultants related to the assignment. I'm there. You're on that quorum? Yes. What score read what score did bidder number four Ghana? There is a five indicated there, correct? Yes. What does that represent? Does it represent that the company has five years of experience? No, it doesn't. What does it represent? And it represents max. It, it represents max. max yes. But in which category of max? Five years and above. Five years and above. Yes? yes. When was the company incorporated? Just to recap, from your, you, you, you mentioned in chief, you said it was incorporated in 2017, correct? Correct. Good. We move on. Go to the last quorum. Where it is written, attach a company profile and attach organogram, company profile, two marks, staff, employees. Yes. You have seen it? Yes, I've seen it. You're on that quorum? Yes, I am. Concerned. What is indicated on that quorum for velocity? Three marks. Three marks with an asterisk, correct? Asterisk, correct? Yes, yes. What does the asterisk represent? I'm not sure. Concerned. You're not sure. Okay, just move on. Evidence of similar undertakings in institutions, at least five assignments. Again, on the same same page, on the same same page, don't leave that page. There is a score of six with an asterisk, correct? 
Yes. What does Asterix represent? I'm not sure. Do the other companies have Asterix? Do they have Asterix, the other evaluations? Uh, no. They don't have. Move with me to the audited accounts for the last three years. Yes? I'm there. Good. Does the company score three? Yes. For how many years of audited accounts? Three max, one max per year. Having been, having provided three years experience, three years audited accounts, correct? Correct or not correct, Karilas? It is only correct as a joint venture. I am not asking about joint venture. I'll come to that. Mm -hmm. Is it correct or not correct that we are evaluating velocity and it has three years? Yes, correct. Correct. When was the company incorporated to just recap? 20... Yes? 2017, right? Mm -hmm. When was the tender bidded? 2018. 2018, three years experience. Marvelous. That's good mathematics. Now, Karilas, move with me to the next page. I want you to look at the comments on the bidder's responsiveness. Are you there? Yes. Read the, for the comments. <clears throat> on all or where Yeah, the following are some of the key exp uh, uh, explanations why the, why the evaluated bidders were not awarded the maximum score of 100 marks at the detailed technical evaluation stage. Are you there? I'm there, Katsuki. Kindly read how many companies, read number one, number two, and number three. Number one is uh, Parity Performance and Compliance Limited. A company that bidded, yes. Number two is Uboro. No, no, no. Read the remarks. remarks. Why that company was not awarded 100 marks? Submitted audited accounts for only one year. Work plan provided does not clearly define the timelines. Partial understanding of the scope and interpretation of the two hours. No clear documentation on sustainability of the system and service. That is why that company could not be awarded three, uh, 100 marks, correct? From the procuring profession, correct? To the best of my knowledge. Correct. Marvelous. Number two. Ubora Systems and uh, Solutions Limited. Yes. What are the remarks? Why it never garnered 100 uh, marks? No master's degree from the team lead. Yes. Relevant experience of less than 10 years. No proof of qualification and competence. Now go to the fourth entry. Velocity. Panel. Velocity with what? With an I. V E L. O C T I at the evaluation technical evaluation stage, correct? Correct, cancer. Move on. What is the uh, remarks? Scope and specification will be fully understood during pilot stage or feasibility study phase. Now, because I'm not a procurement professional, don't go to the next page. What does that remark mean? To the best of. Uh, I don't think I can comprehend this remark now at the moment. But you will comprehend because mm -hmm. it's your document. Okay. To the best what of my does knowledge. that mean? Scope and specification will be fully understood during pilot stage or feasibility. I think I may want Chair to refer to the proposal submitted by the document to fully comprehend what. Okay, is. and as a professional procurement officer, did you give your professional opinion? Yes, I did, Chair. We'll come to that. Just open the next page. The next one. It is a next year number twelve H, twelve H. Yes, you are on twelve H. Twelve H is. A document giving the appointment of the Haddock Committee. This document. Ad hoc committee. Are you there? Yes, I'm there. Who is the chair of that committee? Uh, Wayne Gishira. What is his qualifications? ICT advisor. What is his position in that committee? Chair, chairman. Chairman of the committee. Let's move to the professional opinion. Appearing on the next chair number M. Are you there? Yes. But just before we go to that, Mr. Karilas, you said that who appointed that committee, the ad hoc committee? 
the accounting officer. Who is in this case who is the accounting officer? Chief officer. Now look at the person who executed that letter. Who like executed that letter? Who executed the appointment? Just go to the document. You are there? Mm -hmm. Who executed it? The chief officer finance. The chief officer. Officer finance. finance. Mm -hmm. Yes? Are you aware of the provisions of the County Government Act? Section 47, subsection 3? Section 45? Can I read it out for you? Please do, cancel. A county officer shall be responsible to the respective county executive committee member for the administration of the county department as provided under Section 46. Is this now clear to you who should be the appointing authority? It is clear, Council. Was there a CEO at that particular time of this tender? Was the chief officer present or was he not present at that particular tender? I can confirm he was present. He was present. Let's go to the professional opinion. Mr. Ndegwa, you're remaining with five minutes. Yes, but I have... But as things unfold, I, I will give you an extra five. I seek your indulgence, Chair. Thank you. I'll give opinion. You. Professional opinion. Did you give your professional opinion in respect of, of the, that tender? Yes, I did. What was your remark? Let's go to the professional opinion, which you own. It is dated 16th April, appearing on an extra 12M, correct? Correct. The next page, 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 page two, entry number four. Whom are you giving professional and, uh, opinion about? Which company? Velocity Partners Limited. Velocity, which, v, which velocity? Velocity with CTY at the end. Velocity with CTY? At the end. No, you're not at the same page. I'm referring to a next year number 12M. Your professional opinion, unless you have two. Oh, okay, I'm there. You are there? Mm -hmm. Entry number four, page two? Yes. Who Velocity, is? Velocity with an I. With an I. Mm -hmm. And who be dead for the tender? Velocity without an I. And who is, whose professional opinion is this? Whose professional opinion is this? It is mine. It is yeah. yours. Mm -hmm. Let's move on. Number three. Uh, the, last, the last entry. The last, the last page four. Read your comments very fast. Uh, in view of the above. Yes. The following is my recommendation. Yes. I concur with the evaluation, negotiation, and demonstration report and hereby recommend velocity with which CTY at the end. Yes. At that particular time of giving your professional opinion, were you in possession of the documents relating to velocity or you just give a professional opinion? Did you peruse the file relating to that document, that company? I can confirm I did. Did you confirm that the company was registered in 2017 and bidded in 2018? Yes. And then you went on to give a professional opinion in that respect and confirming that the company has experience of five years and three years audited accounts? As a joint venture, yes. Give us the joint venture agreement. Did you attach it in your agreement, in your documents? The Did you attach it? Did you not attach? It is not among these. Has, your, has, your, has your professional opinion captured that scenario that it is bidded as a, as a, a, an, a, as a joint venture entity? Has it captured? No, it doesn't. Let's go on. Give me another file. 047. Do I take you through the same rigorous? 047. Velocity. Look at the contract, sir. 047. Who is the contractor? Whom are you contracting? That is uh, an extra L. Yes. Yeah. Honorable members, are we there? 
Good. I want us to be fast, Carillas, because of time. I have two, three more files here to question you on. Do you have the contract? I think mine is appearing as Z, or is it N? The contract agreement, yes. You got it? Very fast. Who are the contracting entities? The county government of uh, Kenya. And, and with who? And with Velocity. Velocity with which? With C? With CTY. CTY. And the representation of the contract represents CTY or C, uh, CITY? Represents CTY. Read out. Contract. Harper. Carillas. That one indicates uh, velocity with an I. Good. And who executed that agreement? The accounting officer. And velocity with the CTI or velocity with the CTY? Velocity with CTY. How much money was paid for that contract? Um, I can confirm that because this contract is still Okay, ongoing. then let's go to annexure number H very fast, where we have the tender committee. Annexure H, sorry, I. This is I. Annexure I. Annexure I, Carillas. Who chaired that tender committee? Here, here, Carillas. Wayne Geshira. Who appointed him? Counting officer. Counting officer. Which accounting officer? Chief Officer of Finance. Chief Officer of Finance. Let me, let's go to the other. Confirm that this velocity is the, is the same velocity that bidded in 046 tender. It is the same It is the same velocity. I now take you to your other averments in your response. And we, I want you to take out the tender number Riagishero Irrigation Water Project, tender number 039. You have the files? Can you get the files? 039. Riagishero Irrigation Water Project. And also South Ngariyama. Two files, South Ngariyama, 036 and 039, for purpose of expediency, and 038. I'll only deal with those files. You're there, Carillas? We, we do not have the files yet. Just give us time. Zero thirty six, zero thirty eight, zero thirty nine. So you want three files? Yes. Rating the same tender award. Which one do you begin? I'll with? begin with zero thirty nine. Zero thirty nine. I'm just calling for them to be close. Zero thirty nine tender. Thank you. Yes, 039, a next chair, H, 8H. Yes. 39, we have 36 here. Yeah? Excuse me. 39, 039, tender. So do we have 039? Honorable members? Okay, we may proceed. With me at an extra H, 8H, which is a tender for the proposed and written Agipo reserved. Yes, Senator? We don't have 8H. Uh, it's, it's labeled as. 8H. Laboring can be... What is the title of the... 
it's, uh, the title of the document, Mr. Chair, is the tender for the proposed water works for the irrigation of Riagashero. Yes. We have it. We're there. Page two, Mr. Carillas. Let's go to page one. Are you there, Carillas? Yes, I'm there. Who, is that a specific tender reserved for a particular group? Uh, yes, it is. Which group is reserved for it? Agpo. Agpo, yes? yes. What are the How do you determine whether a company is Agpo certified or not? By a certificate. By a certificate of? Agpo. Agpo. Who awards that certificate or issues that certificate? Uh, the National Treasury. The NA? The National Treasury. The National Treasury. Go with me to page two. Entry number two, EVA Trading Agencies Limited, yes? Yes. It is indicated as Agipol certified, correct? Correct. Did you provide the Agipol certification? Uh, yes. Kindly lead us to where it is in your file. Uh, chair. Uh, First of all, before you say that, mm -hmm. confirm that once you are Agipol certified, you must be issued with a certificate, correct? I confirm that, Chair. Marvelous. Let's move on. Chair, through you, can I confirm where that document is? Yes. What we usually do, we get the proposal from the bidders. And the winning bidder, that forms part and parcel of the, con of the contract. So this document and all other relevant documents that the bidder submitted, it is in the contract document and that one can be availed. Of the contract document we see, you knew it would be an issue of trial. Do you have AGIPO certificates or you don't have AGIPO certificates in your documents? We confirm there is AGPO women category AGPO certificate. Please provide to us. We need it now, not tomorrow. Chairman, if the council was allowing the witness to answer questions, he was going to answer that question and council told him before you go there. So he must allow him an opportunity to answer questions. Yeah. Uh, Council, you need to give uh, the witness time to answer the questions. I was only conscious of the time that I, is remaining, but let him answer. You've known me as a generous chair, so you shouldn't be so worried. We have enjoyed the generosity with yes. humility. Uh, your time is up, huh? but uh, <laughs> I will... Uh...